Hello there to everyone. My name is Mayank and this video completes the first dozen of our 100 LRDI challenge for CAT 2020. So 12 successful videos, I hope, and uh, I hope they have helped you learn many new techniques, thinking points and must have helped you revise some old concepts which are submerged in your mind also. So uh, let us get to our 12th set. I have named this set identical products. When you read it, you will know why. The data is really, really small over here. So this is it. This is the only data given in the set. And after that, we only have the questions. So please read it. Meanwhile, I would also like to tell you that uh, if you want to receive these sets in PDF formats beforehand so that you can, you can make a collection for yourself so that whenever you wish, you can revise them, refer to them and the video solutions will always be there on this channel for you. Then please do join our WhatsApp group, the link of which you will find in the details of this video on YouTube, uh, where you will not only get these sets in advance, but also a lot of other stuff which will help you accelerate your preparation for CAT 2020, everything free of charge. Anyway, I hope you have read this set. So there are only two things to remember that one is that the product of these three, these three and these three. So this product, this product and this product are going to be same. That is why the name of the set is identical products. Okay, so whatever the product is, suppose X is that number. Okay, so it will have the same factors. So we need to choose the digits which will help create the same factors. Okay, we have 10 digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. No, 7, 8, 9 only. Okay, but in the table, we have only 7 places, only 7 letters represent different digits out of these 10. Okay, let us figure out which 3 digits are not there. Let us think about that. Then we'll start thinking about what is G, what is A, what is B, what is C. Okay, now, first of all, of, of all the digits, the first digit that attracts my attention is zero. Now imagine any of these digits being zero. Okay, if suppose B is zero, if B is zero, then this ABC product will be zero and BGE will be zero. But how will you make DEF zero? You need a zero for that and you cannot repeat zero for any other letter. So I think with this logic, I can safely discard zero because zero is not possible as one of the choices because the moment zero comes, it makes the entire product zero and which is which will be not possible for at least one of the three products. On the similar thinking lines, next I would come to another prime number 5. Okay, imagine if 5 is one of the products, uh, uh, sorry, 5 is one of the letters, then suppose again B is 5, then ABC will be a multiple of 5 and BGE will be a multiple of 5 and suppose we can manage making them the same product, same number. But how on earth will you be able to make DEF a multiple of 5 because there is no other digit here which can help you get it as 5, a multiple of 5. So 5 also cannot take any of the places and with the same logic, we can discard 7 also. 7 is also a prime number which cannot be made by any other prime number. So if 7 is one of the digits, the product will bound to be uh, a multiple of 7. Maximum 2 of the products will be the multiple of 7. The third one will not be able to be that. Okay, so we have safely discarded 3 digits. Now let us talk about the remaining digits. See, at first this question looks like that this is a hit and try question. Okay, but with the help of logic, I told you that you didn't have to hit and try. You could actually rationally, logically discard the three digits. Similarly, very logically, we can find out what can the product be. Now, listen to me carefully. Now, imagine these seven digits, one, two, three, four, six, eight, nine, qualify to be these seven letters. Now, in what order, we do not know. I will start with the bigger numbers, bigger digits, because it is easier to think when your factors are big. 
okay so imagine nine is one of the digits and since we are getting the same product everywhere x x and x whatever the value of x be i'm sure that x must be a multiple of nine uh, let's say nine p and the product will also be a multiple of eight by nine or eight kahi na kahi to rahenge na jahan kahi nine rahega that will make the product a multiple of nine should be fine by you and wherever eight will be there it will also make the product to be a multiple of eight तो हमें ये बात समझ में आई है ये दोनों के डिस्कशन से दैट आर प्रोडक्ट जिसको हम एक्स ले रहे हैं इतनी देर से इट इज़ गोइंग टू बी अ मल्टीपल ऑफ नाइन एज वेल एज एट इट इज़ गोइंग टू बी अ मल्टीपल ऑफ सेवेंटी टू अब मल्टीपल ऑफ सेवेंटी टू होते हैं जैसे सेवेंटी टू वन फोर्टी फोर ओके टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन टू एट्टी एट नाउ हाउ डू आई फिगर आउट विच वन ऑफ दैम इज़ गोइंग टू बी माई प्रोडक्ट सेवेंटी टू रहेगा ये तो पक्का हो गया Now imagine 144. 144 needs 9, 8 and 2. अगर 9, 8 और 2, just for an example, मिलकर सेवेंटी वन फोर्टी फोर बनाएंगे दैन द रिमेनिंग डिजिट्स लेट्स थिंक अबाउट दैम सिक्स फोर थ्री एंड वन आप इन सबको भी मल्टीप्लाई कर देंगे तो भी यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू मेक वन फोर्टी फोर और हमें तो अभी दो बार वन फोर्टी फोर और बनाना है विच आई थिंक Clearly tells me that 144 is not possible. जब 144 फोर्टी फोर ही नहीं पॉसिबल है तो हायर ऑर्डर प्रोडक्ट्स का तो कोई चांस ही नहीं है सो आई थिंक वी हैव फाउंड एन अदर मेजर ब्रेक थ्रू इन दिस सेट दैट दिस प्रोडक्ट इज नथिंग बट सेवेंटी टू लास्ट बिट ऑफ टेक्निकलिटीज दैट वी हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ तो सेवेंटी टू बन सकता है नाइन में एट मल्टीप्लाई करके सो आई दर यू मल्टीप्लाई एट इन टू और यू मल्टीप्लाई फोर इंटू टू ओके लेट्स टेक दम केस वन एंड केस टू केस वन एंड केस टू सो इफ नाइन एट वन मेक वन प्रोडक्ट द रिमेनिंग डिजिट्स दैट इज सिक्स फोर थ्री टू ओके सिक्स फोर थ्री ऑल्सो कैन मेक एन अदर प्रोडक्ट ओके लेट्स ट्राई टू मेक दम नाइन एट वन विल मेक सेवेंटी टू सिक्स फोर थ्री विल मेक सेवेंटी टू and two is left so i think i am getting an idea now ye two jo hai ye zarur g ka value hoga okay so if two is there i need to make 36 more because two into 36 is 72 to ek jagah nine rakh deta hu from this group aur ek ek jagah four rakh deta hu from this group i don't think any other pair from the two groups will make 36 so from here i get 8 or 1 1 or 8 interchangeably placed similarly 3 and 6 or 6 and 3 interchangeably placed like this okay now let us try the second case also if 9 4 and 2 are placed to make one triplet one triplet which makes 72 the other digits are 1 3 6 8 can you think of a triplet from these remaining digits that will make a product of 72 no i don't think so so there is no other pair there is no other pair to ab aapke paas ek hi chance hai two to beech mein rahega aap left mein yani ki b ki jagah ya to four likh sakte hain ya nine likh sakte hain agar nine likhenge to eight aur one one aur eight upar niche aayenge agar four likhenge to three aur six and 6 or 3 so i think we have decoded maximum to the maximum possible extent let us look at the questions now all right what does letter g represent i think ye to question banna hi tha because this is the first thing we got to know and g represents 2 second option if the letter b represents 4 dekhiye b ki position kya hai ye hai to for this question these are a b c if b is 4 फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ओके देन वॉट डज ए रिप्रेजेंट फोर के केस में ए जो है वो सिक्स या थ्री होता है सो आई थिंक इट इज गोइंग टू बी ऑप्शन फाइव आई दर फर्स्ट ऑप्शन और सेकेंड ऑप्शन बिकॉज इवन टिल द एंड वी कुड नॉट फिगर आउट बिटवीन ए एंड सी विच इज गोइंग टू बी बिगर और स्मॉलर थर्ड क्वेश्चन विच थ्री डिजिट्स आर नॉट रिप्रेजेंटेड ये तो हमने सबसे पहले निकाला था जीरो इज वन ऑफ दैम फाइव इज वन ऑफ दैम सेवन इज वन ऑफ दैम थर्ड ऑप्शन बिकम्स द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन फोर्थ क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ a into b into c okay i think it's a into b into c and we also found this 
in the very beginning that is 72 if d represents 8 where is d okay okay if d is representing 8 for this question let me write if d is 8 f must be 1 and this must be 9 this is 2 anyway this is 4 anyway so b is clearly clearly 4 so you saw that basics of factors multiples prime numbers inka usage tha is set mein it looked like a big deal of uh, hits and trials but actually it was not so i hope you understood and you liked the way of tackling the set approaching the set so uh, in the end i would request you to please subscribe to our channel if you like our selections of questions and uh, our way of explanation and please also do join our whatsapp group to find tons of material free of charge this is mayank rath singh signing off thank you so very much for watching the video keep watching the space for more such videos and take very good care of yourself